Hello there my fellow creators. If you guys followed our videos for a while you may know that I was also working as a retoucher and generally in post-production before running this very YouTube channel. So I am still very keen on trying tech, mainly aimed at creators. In high-end retouching, for example, it is absolutely necessary to use a digital pen tablet, since a mouse just does not cut it when working on pixel-level details for hours on end. Pen displays take it a step further since you can directly work on your content, which is a great experience and allows you to interact with your digital content a lot more directly and naturally. Huion has made a name for itself with exactly these kinds of products over the past few years. And I got the chance to test one of their higher end pen displays, the Canvas Pro 19, for a few weeks now. And while you may think the price tag is quite high for a 19 inch screen, the competition, mainly in the form of industry standard products, especially from the folks over at Wacom, costs a lot more. And Huion comes with a few clever ideas and a plethora of accessories. So if you are in the market for a pen display to get your drawing or editing workflow to the next level without getting too much into laptop level prices, this one might be worth another look. During my time with the Canvas, I was also working on a pretty big retouching job for one of my advertising clients. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the images or any behind the scenes footage, but it gave me a pretty good idea how the 19 inch tablet handles in a fast paced professional production workflow. And I already have good news here. I was able to do everything the way I am used to and had absolutely no problems implementing the Huion into my setup. It wasn't holding me back in any way during a very, very intense production. Quite the contrary, to be honest, the pen experience was flawless for retouching, I was able to calibrate the screen for reliable color rendition and a few extras even sped up my workflow, but more on that later. Before we get into the panel itself and my final thoughts about using this one, let me walk you through what you get in the box and the setup process. Next to the pen display itself, which is actually quite sleek and very well made, you have this little box with two pens and a plethora of spare nibs. It also serves as a stand for the pens, so they are always easily accessible on your desk. The main difference between these two is the thickness, and I prefer the one with a little more heft since it was much more comfortable for me during longer retouching sessions. You also get this sort of half glove, which helps your palm to glide over the screen with less effort, and also prevents the display from getting too greasy and smeary. But I tend to not use these since I do not like the feel of them, but this is of course very subjective. Of course you would not want a pen display like this one to lay flat on your desk, but in a slightly elevated position. Right out of the box the Huion comes with legs to lift it up slightly, though for me personally this would still not be enough. I used a pretty cheap tablet stand I had laying around to get the canvas to my preferred working position and I will link it below if I can still find it. Alternatively Huion also offers a few different options as additional add-ons and you also get your standard VESA mounting holes on the back, so you can pretty much use any third party stand or arm which is definitely a nice touch. Connecting the canvas to your laptop or desktop machine is quite easy and you also got a few options. The tablet itself comes with two USB-C ports, one for power and one for the connection to your workstation. And since this is after all a pen tablet, you need both a display signal and data to get the pen working. So you can either use the supplied USB-C cable and connect it to either a Thunderbolt or a USB-C port with a display port signal or use the breakout cable with HDMI and USB-A. I tried both and got it working in no time with no problems and the whole process is pretty much hassle free. Getting everything working with Huion software was also a breeze. While some things are weirdly translated, everything is very easy to find and you can remap all the controls on the pens and the supplied control remote. And this little guy surprised me the most to be honest. I tried many of these creator focused keyboard alternatives but moved back to my beloved keyboard shortcuts quite quickly. This one feels like a proper keyboard though and the layout allowed me to move my shortcuts to the same position as I have them on a keyboard. So I got used to it really quickly and since it's it's much more comfortable to have my left hand for set shortcuts next to the pen display. It allowed me to use the remote and leave my keyboard directly in front of me. Usually I would always have to move my keyboard around, which is quite cumbersome doing it over and over again. With everything set up and before we jump into work, let's quickly have a look at the panel. In the end, we are dealing with a pen display here aimed at creatives. And to be honest, it's alright. The overall brightness with around 220 nits is fine-ish for offices with control lighting, which you should have when you take retouching and color grading serious, but brighter workspaces will get you in trouble. 
Contrast is very good though, but both factory calibration and what you could do manually is again alright, but not quite up there for what I would consider reference level. That said, if you are looking into such a tablet, chances are you are working with a bigger screen already, which would be the one you trust. And considering this workflow and keeping the price point in mind, I would say the Pro 19 is acceptable. But enough of the technicalities, how is the work experience with the Huion? I mentioned it before, the Canvas Pro 19 worked very well with my kind of workflow. Having it connected to a laptop with a more color accurate display like the Razer Blade 16 or using it with an additional bigger monitor like the PD49 I had on my desk a few weeks ago. The pen experience was flawless in my opinion and both the feel for the pen and things like pressure sensitivity and how directly I was able to interact with my on-screen content left me without any real reason to complain. I really like the overall size of the Pro 19 since it's big enough to not feel grammed while working on it and at the same time its physical size is not too cumbersome on your desk when you're not using it all day. The pen itself looks very crisp thanks to its 4K resolution, but it's hardly the best screen you will ever come across. But it's more than fine for semi-professional work or hobbyists, while you should be aware of its shortcomings if you are a professional. But these folks, let me know what you think. Did you ever use a pen tablet or even a pen display? Sound off in the comments below. I hope covering this kind of creator tech is still interesting for you and if you want to go back to our regular laptop content, please feel free to check out some of our recent videos. As always, thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been amazing and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.